Lots of new home buyers face another hurricane season with roof vents that they say can't keep the wind blown rain out. Goes right in. They bought new houses, then could not believe the water damage caused by Hurricane Irma. Action 9 consumer investigator Todd Ulrich uncovers installation and design nightmares that put these homes at risk. We start having water leaking through the drywall itself. Charles Hollowell grabbed buckets when Hurricane Irma drenched ceilings inside his just built home. What a mess. You know, what are we going to do? How bad is it going to get? Action 9 found dozens of new home buyers from five different builders claiming wind driven rain poured through roof vents like this. Eva Roman bought her new home 10 months before the storm. And it was just scary. When we saw the water coming in, we didn't know the roof, the roof was going to collapse. Eva thought her new home warranty covered repairs, but the builder rejected her claim. After his warranty claim failed, Charles hired an engineer who found ridge vent problems. The vent openings not evenly cut, some far bigger than others. Experts say that can cause major leaks. If you cut the opening too wide, you're lessening the flange covering over the top of the hole. So more water can come in. That's correct. Action 9 found 20 new homeowners in Melbourne alone claiming the same builder didn't install vents according to manufacturer's guidelines. The hurricane exposed another big problem in these new home neighborhoods. Ridge vents near the top not designed to keep wind-blown rain out. Many builders installed off-ridge vents like this with large openings, nothing to block hurricane rain. I think it definitely made an impact in the difference on the water that came into our house. Off-ridge vents do come with deflectors or baffles that block sideways rain. And experts we talked to say new homes without those vent baffles took a beating. I was on a number of roofs after the hurricane where they had water damage, where the water was actually blowing in and up inside the vent. We found Charles Hollowell's builder now installing vents with deflectors at new construction sites. But homeowners burned by one hurricane still stuck with vents that failed in new homes bought just two years ago. I wonder why they didn't have ours to begin with on it. We know what made that different then versus now. If you can document new home damages from Hurricane Irma, you can still file a claim with your builder as long as you were covered by a new home warranty at the time the storm hit. Also consider an inspection to document how those vents were installed. Todd Ulrich, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.